Causes of depression I am a reverend of the Narcology Council for accreditation to ordain ministers home school. However, I am one of the women who suffered from depression. This is my first time that I have came public on YouTube with my disease because of the many discrimination women experience having depression most of them prefer not to talk about their diseases. Besides, many people do not understand the meaning of depression and sometimes associated it with someone that is crazy or emotional disturbed but I am telling you today no matter. How you feel about depressed women today that I have suffered from a major depression that almost took my life in 2000 because of the causes I have experienced which bring about my depression. For you to understand depression you must at least be described to the disease from experienced people who have suffered depression and untreated depression. The causes of depression is as the following. Depression women chronic or lifelong, endogenous, depression is caused by trauma in childhood which includes, emotional, physical or sexual abuse, yelling or threats of abuse, neglect, even to parents working, criticism, inappropriate or unclear expectations, maternal separation, conflict in the family, divorce, family addiction, violence in the family neighborhood or TV, racism and poverty. Now let's examine the feelings of Hannah from the Bible who became depressed because she could not have a baby from her husband. The Bible says that Hannah that became depressed because she could not have a baby by her husband. Now let us feel what Hannah feels by closing our eyes and imagine her feelings and now imagine Hannah was you and you wanted a baby that was impossible to have now least feel her depression for wanting a healthy baby this beautiful little creature yet innocent angel of the world to be born so that she become this loving mother that will care and cherish this little baby the rest of her life. Now close your eyes as I read the scripture from the Bible in Samuel 1.8, Then said Elkanah her husband to her, Hannah, why weepest thou? And why eatest thou not? And why is thy heart grieved? Am not I better to thee than ten sons? 9. So Hannah rose up, after they had eaten in Shiloh, and after they had drunk, Now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. 10. And she was in bitterness of soul, and prayed unto the Lord, and wept sore. And she vowed a vow, and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but wilt give unto thine handmaid a man-child. Then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. 12. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. 13. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard, therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. 14. And Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. 15. And Hannah answered and said, No, my lord, I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit, I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. 16. Count not thine handmaid for a daughter of Belial. For out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. 17. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. 18. And she said, Let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way, and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. 19. And they rose up in the morning early, 
and worshipped before the Lord, and returned, and came to their house to Ramah, and Elkanah knew Hannah his wife, and the Lord remembered her. 20. Wherefore it came to pass, when the time was come about, after Hannah had conceived, that she bare a son, and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord. 21. And the man Elkanah, and all his house, went up to offer unto the Lord the yearly sacrifice. Now this may seem like a story tell but I can witness what Hannah experienced, for I too had experience wanting to become a mother, for over ten years, before I conceived. It may seem strange but over fourteen years ago, I read this same scripture, where I too feel these depressing emotions, because I had no children and was marriage and felt I was a woman of God and she had children besides the other depression that fall in my life during my life experiences like mentioned early. Again, one day I opened my Bible and I started to read 1 Samuel and learned about a woman who was very much like myself. She became an inspiration in my life I was inspired by her faith which came her determination to conceive, how she believe in a God that we cannot see with our eyes but believe he is there was an amazing illusion to me but out of desperateness I read this scripture every day having the same faith and belief of Hannah to have what I have today a little girl that I pray for. I believe by reading 1 Samuel in the Holy Bible I have conceived without any medical attention this is very hard for many people to believe so I do not mention it much, because it is a miracle matter, and as it is said that miracles do happen like strange phenomena that happens in the world every day and people are amazed with the cause that it sometimes seem impossible that a situation turn out the way it has like a scientist who had a near-death experience, Joyce Hawks, a cell biologist with a PhD had an accident that forever changed her life em. Dash and her view of science. She suffered a concussion from a falling window. I think that part of me and dash that my spirit, my soul am dash left my body and went to another reality, she said. She was surprised at the experience. It just was not part of the paradigm in which I lived as a scientist, Hawks recalled. It was a big surprise to me to have this sense of something different than the body M- a consciousness different than the body M- and to be in this wonderfully healing, peaceful, nurturing place. I think what I learned was that there truly is no death, that there is a change in state from a physical form to a spirit form, and that there is nothing to fear about that passage, she said. You can find Joyce Hawks PhD on the web at worldwideweb.joycehawks.com. Now, this is a story about male perspective of a male point of view that, if he was only aware of male depression, he would had understand that he was somehow experiencing depression, for example, he states that a true story of a near-death experience. I spent the first 40 years of my life as an equal opportunity hater. I was filled with an underlying anger at everyone, including myself. My life had no real direction or purpose except for the gathering of possessions. I managed to destroy two marriages by sleeping around with anyone I could find, and in the privacy of my own home, never in my public facade was extremely verbally abusive to my wives. I felt that women were very weak because they believed in something called love, and it was very easy to manipulate them just by lying and telling them what they wanted to hear. I don't honestly know why I married them, for I had never felt this emotion called love. I considered it a waste of time to even think about it, 
for we are all going to die someday, so why bother? I never showed any affection toward them, because that was not a manly thing to do. Women were necessary for 